Hey, welcome to the new show, Jack to the Boomer. It's just like Back to the Humor, but it's just with me now. I'm bringing it back. The show is on hiatus, but I'm bringing it back with Mark Lipo. The great Mark Lipo, the king of puns and one-liners and all that stuff. So, uh, so Mark, uh, it's a dead night here tonight. Might as well shoot the shits. Uh, what, what got you into this whole stand-up comedy thing? I had it on my bucket list, and about a year ago I said, you know what, I'm going to come out to an open mic, and if I get a laugh, great. Now, speaking of bucket list, my dad used to actually uh, collect buckets, and then he died, so I guess that was his bucket list. Well, I guess he kicked the bucket. He did. <laughs> I guess that was it. You know what was in my father's bucket list? What's that? A pail, a shovel, Oh. sand. To the, the folks that don't appreciate the comedy styles of Mark Lipa, you, you, you're truly missing out here, folks. I can't stop doing my brushes on you. I don't know if you know that or not. But I do it around my house. I do it uh, specifically when we shoot the Unholy Serious News Network. There's a plug, and I annoy other comedians when I do it. I do it the whole car ride up there. I piss off Tony Viejo. Um, Timmy Lyle likes it, but he kind of gets annoyed. Um, John Rice is high, so he tolerates it. Nice. And, uh,. Yeah, Darren, he's got, even Darren's getting on the front. Darren's doing it. Well, you know, the drunk and the heavily medicated they tend to prefer my type of humor. So if you mind, you know, taking some jokes and throwing them out there. Speaking out there, I just want to dedicate this show tonight to uh, the one guy out there writing his jokes. So if you're out there, there you go. There you go. Uh, I tend to, this yeah. guy's got a tablet. What's this guy doing back here? He's got a tablet and it's based on us. This is great. We got a camera here. We got a dead open mic tonight. This is just a weird night. Bionic vision? How can you see anybody? It's like being on the uh, runway. I think I'm, I'm, used, I'm used to the scalp cancer, I gotta say, because you develop scalp cancer if I'm performing here at this, this stage and these bright lights. Can I catch it? Because <laughs> I'd love to see the people on my own. That's right. When I talk to people, I'm just being staring out. Yeah, it's like I know this is going on. People are walking in. But what is your? Do you have any best highlights of doing comedy so far? Uh, the highlights I would say is um, being on the uh, dating game. Yeah. 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 Okay. Did you did you uh, actually get a date with a lovely lady? I got a date with a lovely lady. You wow. Know, I, I, got, I asked her a question. I said, you know, if I was Christopher Columbus and we were in the ocean. What would one of you to stop? and stay clean to your body. And she said, I have giant buoys. I said, great, because I'm Moby Dick and I would swim in between those because I'm a sperm whale. Whoa! That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I bet. also a pope. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Where were you really party. Yeah, I'm a yeah. Jewish, Jewish pope. I want to uh, Jewish go pope. watch... Uh, oh, you know, do a little bit of the synagogue no. humor and then... Yeah, but you can't please all the power all the time. I love that. Oh, you see, you, know, yeah, you can't go to Egypt because yeah, you can't eat Egyptian food. They say it's Egyptian food. Yeah. Yeah. Philosophy, philosophy. He has a great sense of awareness. <laughs> I really do. I like, um, I don't know, I, think I bubble when you're in the back. I try to deliver your set, but I do that. Makes you deliver a punchline, let's say. Uh, I still practice my craft here. You, you have done over 300 shows, I believe. That's right. Well, last Wednesday last was my 300th in general time on stage, including contests, shows, open mics, and all that stuff. So, yeah, tonight's going to be 301, and uh, the Jack Boo Revolution is continuing. What are some of the highlights of that? JJ Revolution. Uh, the Get a Friendly Comedy Contest was fun in advance, but it was just fun to finally be allowed to say what you won. Nice. Uh, last year, I did the Philly's Funniest. Uh, I didn't advance, but I had, a, I had a good set in front of a sellout crowd of like 160 people. And you're always coming with the gym material. Yes, I do, but it unfortunately doesn't get me anywhere. It doesn't get me on shows. It doesn't get me... Uh, it, it, some comedians like you respect it, but... Uh, no, it's, it's all right. Yeah, it's, I, I like trying out. I like trying out stuff. I like writing. I like. Uh, I like it. It's fun. Well, that's what it's all about. Respect the process is what I'm trying to say. Well, I'd say 99 percent of the population you couldn't pay to come up here for 30 seconds. You know, my dad used to be a writer, and he actually was a shot blocker for a basketball team. One night he had writer's block. <laughs> nice. I'll tell you, we're reaching for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna wrap it up here. We're just having fun for the show. Check out the great Mark Lipo here at the Comedy Cabaret. Right? He's here almost every Wednesday. And he'll do about 37 jokes in about five minutes if you're lucky. 
got to learn to talk a little slower. And uh, we also come out to see Josh Jacobu, who's also here on Wednesday nights. That's right. Jack to the Boomer, first episode, we're going to keep making more. Looking forward to it, guys.